when we first rolled in in 03, we took over the airport, Baghdad, is BIAP, um, Baghdad International Airport. So there was like a hangar there. and we Your just, team did? Yeah. So we just slept there for like the first, I don't know, month or two. And then- How many, gu- how many guys did that? Oh man, there was a bunch of people there. Um, I don't remember the numbers, but it was, it was a decent sized group. It wasn't like military big. You know, it was only like maybe, I don't know, I can't throw a number out, maybe like 100 people or something like that. Took over the entire Baghdad airport. Yeah, like when we rolled in, there was military already, they just rolled through. So we just kind of like, hey, this is where I'm going to sleep. <laughs> it's pretty weird. Okay, wait a second. I'm, I'm just trying to, as a total layman here who has no concept of this, I'm trying to understand so everyone out there can. You get dropped on the ground in the summer of 03, as we said, and one of the first things you do is you take the Baghdad airport. So it hadn't been taken before that. Well, the military had taken it, and then they left it. So it's unsecured at that point, right? So Is anyone there? Are there any planes flying? Yeah, there, there was or? there were some um, other contingents still there, like different government agencies. There was like, you know, a couple dudes from here, a couple dudes from there. So... We still had to make sure every the area was secure to set up like, you know, our infrastructure to run operations. And what we were waiting on is there was a adjacent military base called Camp Slayer. It was like maybe a half a mile down the road. And we eventually took that over. And we set up before the military even came back into this camp. It was one of Saddam's palaces. And it was all mm-hmm. walled in. So we set up there and then the military, you know, they set up, I can't remember if it was before or after us, but, um, yeah, it was pretty much the wild west. It was like, you just claim your, your territory, you know? So, but uh, I'm just, I'm trying to like relate this to like, imagine if it was here, like what it would be like. So you and I were at Philadelphia International Airport today. Is this pretty much, and I would imagine the Baghdad Airport isn't quite that big, but... No. Is this pretty much like <laughs> Not even close. like you where we would pull up to the exit there to get off? There is now, it's like I am legend around there. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty similar. It was uh, it was just like um, survival of the fittest, you know. It and when like, when you say people were there though, this is the part I didn't understand. Well, I can't like, remember all the details of like. Man, that was so long ago. Um, are they chilling in the concourse or like in an office? Like, what nah, are they doing? It was just this big central building that we stayed at that we referenced and called BIAP. And uh, um, there were different, you know, military and uh, other gov- government agencies that were kind of in that area, but it wasn't a big contingent of people at by any stretch. <laughs> and what, what, so like do you have a is there a general there or is it just like a few guys no we just i can't get into all the specifics on the this, yeah this stop me where stuff. you can't but, yeah because yeah. I, I don't want to get you know myself in legal trouble <laughs> um but um so i don't want to get into the detail of like all the specifics of like okay. who is there and it's not really relevant but um yeah, the, the the bottom line it was the wild west man like 03 and 04 in iraq were it was you know, you had that the, the low the the calm before the storm in '03, and it was hot. <laughs> <laughs> Did I mention that? What are we talking like? One ten humid, dude. It was one thirty, I think. One one thirty, one twenty five, one thirty. 130. It fuck? was not one of the hottest summers. When I got off the plane, I had to drive an armored vehicle from. I had to drive it off the aircraft to wherever we're going. I had no weapons. I'm in no idea what I'm like what i'm fucking doing right because it's like hey we're gonna go from here to here we had no maps there's no accurate data we had garments and stuff like that back in the day but there was no map data so it was like you're kind of going in blind initially you had no you know no uh familiarization or or you're with the area and so it's like dude i get in this thing i start it up and the freaking air conditioner didn't work in the suburban oh no Bro, I drank two gallons of water. I'm not even exaggerating. Within 30 minutes, I was sitting in this thing baking. It was probably about 125 degrees oh. actual temperature. You can like die sitting in something yeah, like dude. that for and too long. Yeah, dude, and I'm a long. sweater. 
for those of you who don't know, I'm, I'm a big sweater. <laughs> so I, I was dying in this thing just to, like, that was my, you're like, hey, what was it like in 03? I'm like, it was freaking hot, bro. <laughs> like, it was kind of cool, you know, you're just figuring stuff out. It was kind of like you're a freshman, but then you skip the, uh, you know, junior and sophomore year. You won't write the, you know, it's like, oh, now you're... Uh, getting ready to graduate boy and 04 was uh, graduation thank you for watching the video guys please hit that subscribe button and check out this clip's full podcast episode by clicking here or in the description below